Our final guest is Katie Campbell of Novant Health Gastroenterology, Brunswick. Welcome to the show today, Katie. Thank you. Thank it's you such a me. pleasure to have you here on the show, and um, I'm excited to get to know you a little bit better. So uh, let's get started, and let's talk a little bit about your education. Where did you go to school? Well, I went to, um, to UNC Pembroke for my undergraduate. Oh. I received my bachelor's from there. And then from there, I went to Wingate University and received my master's in physician assistant studies. Wow, that's a great school, and it's so pretty out there. Yes, Lincoln. it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful little campus. I really like it. Um, how about uh, sharing some work experience with us? Well, um, I am fresh out of school. I graduated um, in December of 2015. Wonderful. Um, and so I haven't really gathered too much experience, um, but um, in PA school, I completed 10 rotations in various specialties. Uh, such as? Um, I did pediatrics, I've done cardiology, I've done primary care to OBGYN, so it pretty much ranged from wow, a lot. Wow, that's yeah. good. You're so well-rounded. Thank you. That's a really great. I hope so. <laughs> I think you'll be great in this area. And speaking of area, what led you to come to our area? So my husband, um, he is oh. a real estate broker for really? National <laughs> Land Realty, yes. Yeah. So they, they deal a um, very heavily in the southeast I portion see. of the state and so we came here just wanted to check out you know the area uh -huh. and we ended up loving it so we stayed and we could not be happier <laughs> we love it here well that's good to, to hear do you live near the water uh, unfortunately no but we are moving <laughs> closer to Oak Island here soon hopefully oh really yeah so you guys are enjoying the area and do you like water sports and do you like yes yeah we love to be out on the water we love fishing we love you know jet good. skiing and Wonderful. All, all things all things water related good well on Oak Island you'll have lots of opportunity yes. uh, to enjoy that water yes um, well, tell me a little bit about your partners at uh, Gastroenterology Brunswick. Sure. Um, so Dr. Lamphere, he has many, many years of experience he in GI. He's very intelligent. He's a great educator. Um, oh, yeah. He educates both myself and the other PA, Miss Ghana, who was extremely intelligent herself. She's been on our show, too. She's lovely. Um, and so he is a, he's really good with educating his patients as well. He and I is. just I just strive to be like him and Miss Ghana. So hopefully I can absorb everything that they're teaching me and kind of, you know, relay it to my patients. That's wonderful to hear, and I have, um, I'm also a patient of Dr. Lanfears, oh, awesome. and so I can attest to that, his willingness to educate mm -hmm. and talk you through things. He um, gives the patient every opportunity to learn about their condition and, and uh -huh. what, what's best for them. So. Yeah, he's extremely educational. Yeah, I, I love that practice. Let's talk about some of the services that are offered um, at that location. Sure. Um, so a lot of the procedures that we offer, like the upper endoscopies, sure. colonoscopies, um, barium enemas, um, fecal occult blood test, those things are done at Novant Brunswick Medical Center. So we just, and they're all under Dr. Lamphere's supervision. So right. he's the one that performs all of those procedures. Things that we do inside the office would be like a digital rectal exam, a physical examination, but most of the procedures that we offer are at the Novant Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, let's talk about some of the specialized procedures uh, that he does, such as the colonoscopies and, mm -hmm. and what have you. Um, how do patients uh, feel about that? Do, have they had good experiences? And Yes, so far um, I have been doing some screening colonoscopies with some patients this week. Uh -huh. um, and so far I really haven't heard anything bad from the procedure. He's, you know, he's very delicate with the, during the procedure. Uh -huh. um, he takes into account, you know, a patient's privacy and uh -huh. it's very, um, it's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Patients trust him, so they have they have great experiences with him. Um, you know, they begin at 50, maybe earlier. You know, right. depending on your family history uh -huh. um, of colon cancer or polyps. Um, but most of them begin at 50 and then occur every 10 years if you have a normal colonoscopy. Till until typically around the age of 80. Oh, really? Um, yes. Once they so I can look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> once once a patient turns 80, then we kind of weigh yeah. the risk versus the benefits and things of that mm -hmm. sort. And then if they're if they have a condition that might warrant them to be 
more frequent, mm -hmm. you could have them, what, every three to five years? Every three to five years, depending on what in that family history or, or, mm -hmm. or what in that personal history that actually has occurred. Mm -hmm. Well, as a physician assistant in that practice, what's a typical role that um, a physician assistant would have there in the office? So we basically do um, the same thing that Dr. Lamphere does, except mm -hmm. for the procedures. Mm -hmm. We see the patients that come in who express um, GERD symptoms, mm -hmm. who have irritable bowel symptoms, right. um, inflammatory bowel disease, diarrhea, constipation. We see a whole range oh. of things. So we serve the same purpose that he does. Um, we act in that same role. We see a ton of different things on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. just except for the procedures. Mm -hmm. So if a patient feels like they, they need to see someone, they would call and make an appointment with him and then uh, likely be seen by you also. Right, right. Um, if, if the patient calls and they request, you know, Dr. Lamphere, then our secretary would try to make it as, as possible as they could to put them on his schedule. Mm -hmm. But if, you know, he, if he's off a day or if right. he's just too busy or if he's then, in the hospital, then they can see us if they would like. Oh, that's good to know. Yes. That way there's coverage all the right. time. Right, especially so with three of us now, hopefully we can better yeah. serve supply in, in the surrounding areas. Sure, yeah. Um, well, before we wrap up, um, tell our viewers how to get in touch with you and uh, with Novant Health Gastroenterology Brunswick. Sure. Um, they can visit NH Gastroenterology Brunswick at, um, at org, um, or they can call the office 910-754-5988. 5988. And we'll put that on the bottom of the screen too so that viewers okay. will have another opportunity um, to give you a call. Um, how about referrals? Do we need a referral to get in to see Dr. Lanfear? Most of the time, yes. So if a patient's primary care physician or their provider um, is really unable to further manage their symptoms and control them, then they would refer them to us. I see. And hopefully we would be able to further manage them. Mm -hmm. Great. With a um, with the necessary procedure or something like that, mm -hmm. if it was if it were indicated. Great. Well, is there anything else that you would like to add today before we close? Um, I don't believe so. Just that you look forward to seeing yes patients in your office. Absolutely. Great. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Thank it's you been for a having pleasure me. Pleasure to meet you, and I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Yeah.